This guy had a meltdown at a local restaurant. You need to see how he treated his wife. Watch this. Oh! 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 Yo! Don't touch your wife like that! Okay. 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 Go. I'm recording all of this. What are you doing now? No, it doesn't matter. Just don't touch my car. I'm gonna sit here and watch it. I'm not recording this. I'm recording this. Yeah, you better leave. I bet you he didn't hit our car. Can you imagine this guy? He left his wife at the restaurant because he was angry. Unbelievable. These girls walked out of a nail salon without paying for $250 worth of nail services. Take a look at this. Apparently, the girls told the nail technician that they left their credit card in the car. Unbelievable. I think it's high time that clients are asked to pay before a service is completed. This passenger was kicked off Spirit Airline flight for having a foul mouth. Take a look at this. Thank you. 
kicking off this passenger off the flight was justified let me know what you think in the comment section these guys blocked a woman in on a public street while she was at work take a look at this call 911 I will. I will. you cannot block me here you do not have permission to block me on a public street. You don't have, you cannot block me on a public street. You cannot block me on a public street. Call 911. Get away from my car. 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 Hello, I need the police out here. What's your address? Uh, I am, what's this address? Mm -hmm. 15795 Sage Brush Court. What's going on? Um, I'm in a uh, area to take some pictures of a lot and I'm being blocked in by a, a neighbor. So I'm in, I'm in the street and I'm being blocked in. Are you in your vehicle? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Okay. And they're all around my vehicle right now. So you said you were there to take photos of the house? He's up what? on my car. He's up on my car right now, ma'am. Where's the police? Let's turn it over. Where's the police? They're on their way, ma'am. How, how, how far are they? How far are I they? Don't have, I, I don't know. I can't because, see that, but... Because he is up on my car. And I feel threatened. I am not a threat to them. I am on pop, uh, public uh, property. I mean, uh, public uh, a public street. And he is a threat. And he asked me, did I know who he was when he first came up? So I don't know what that means, but this, this is not a good situation. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Just give them a few minutes, okay? Deputy Golas, can I get your ID real quick? Um, I'm gonna ask why. What do you need my ID because for? Need this a, this man your, has this man has, has blocked this man has blocked me in this. Okay. From looking okay. At, at this. We're gonna figure that out, but I just need to identify everybody okay. here so we know that we're working. Who we're working with? Right. I can give you my name. I don't have to give you my ID. Do you have your your? License? I don't have you to have give your you license number. I I can give you my name. You. That's what you need. You don't need my ID. I, you, I'm asking you for your ID to just make this easy. What do you mean make it easy? I, I call because, because this because, man is blocking okay, me in. My partner is handling that. Okay, well, your, what your partner told me to do is get back in the car. I was telling him okay, I called fine. because I okay. feel threatened. Okay, and we understand that, but we just have to get everybody identified. That's all. Okay, it's you can get everybody policy. identified, but it's policy that you can get my name. Give me a sergeant. Give me a sergeant out here. I'm serious. Okay, well then, what? can I have a first and last name? Mm-hmm. My first name is Dr. Mishi Briley. Okay. So I need a sergeant out here. Okay. 
Oh, well, let a sergeant know. Because how this is being handled is very unprofessional. Okay, I will get a sergeant out here. What's your first and name? And what is your name and what Dep is your badge number? Deputy Golas 15089. What is your first name? It's M-Y-E-S-H-I. Mm -hmm. Dr. Brawley. And spell your last name for me, ma'am. B-R-I-L-E-Y. And I'm sorry, can you tell me your first and last name again and your badge I'm number? I'm going to give you my last name. My, it's Deputy Golis, G-O-L-I-S. And my badge number is 15089. Okay, now why is he why is he blocking me on a public street? I, I'm gonna I don't ma'am, I just got here. I'm gonna, okay. we're gonna figure this because out. Because that's right? illegal. Okay, we'll just stay in your car. Okay. We're gonna get it figured out. Okay. So a surgeon arrives at the scene. Keep watching. So, like I said, put yourself in in that position, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm working, doing what I'm supposed to do, and he comes running out with his family, backs the truck up, blocks me in for more than 20 minutes. I have to call 911. I'm asking him to get away from my vehicle. The older man with the jacket, black jacket on, says, uh, go give me my black jacket. And my oh, she going to tell me who she is. That's threatening. You don't do that. So, yeah, he agreed. Well, that she he didn't. That's not a threat. That he was talking to his son, and I understand what you're saying, but he was talking to his son. He didn't threaten you directly. So there's, there is a difference. Otherwise, if he threatened you directly, then yes, we could issue, uh, depending on how it was, whether it be disorderly conduct or... So, so, to, so somebody go, saying that they go get my teeth and come did, handle did this. Did they get she, a... I didn't see I don't so, know what... So she they, came out so with a black jacket. Talking, they could be talking mess, basically. So if they didn't threaten you, I understand that you felt threatened, but I explained all this to the DA and... At the end, and I explained exactly what he, he's not denying anything that you just said as far as backing up behind you and stopping. He's not. Right, but you can't, you can't hold nobody like that. You and can't. I, and I explained that, but all I can tell you, ma'am, is the DA is the one that's going to decide whether or not there's an arrest, whether or not he's going to take charges. And he said, no, he's not going to take charges. And so he didn't tell you why he wasn't going to take charges. He just said, after I explained the whole situation, he said, no, I'm not going to take charges. I explained exactly what happened and i said that you know she felt that she was being blocked in and no i felt threatened i felt threatened i felt scared and i had to call 911 he w and i told him that you called 911 and i felt threatened and i felt scared i told him that you felt threatened he did not take charges that's okay. all i can tell you okay man. now we're not trying to be difficult i came out here to try to defuse the yeah. situation like you wanted yeah we're doing a report on okay. it okay so, yeah, so I'll wait for my report and then I'm a, I guess I'm going to have to get my attorney or whatever I need to do. The report, yes, you have the right to do whatever, but the report is not going to be done until the end of shift. And for you to get a copy, all you mm -hmm. have to do is contact the sheriff's office and ask to speak to our records department. Mm -hmm. And you make what's called an open records request. Okay. okay. If you were the driver that was held against a will, would you have pressed charges? against the driver that blocked you in and also the police department let me know what you think in the comment section please take your time to watch this clip and let me know in the comment section who do you think is the karen i think the woman recording and the woman being recorded are both karens but that's my opinion let me know what is yours in the comment section Finally, for this video, we've got a Karen in the wild on the street of New York City. Watch this. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. You touch me. Don't touch me. Why are you and touching go. me? Why? Don't follow me around, you no. crazy. You won't believe this. Karen here assaults two female on the new york city streets because she felt she was being followed unbelievable <laughs>